वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जे वी आर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेलाइकन हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जे वी आर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस सो टूडे एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज एट ए फ्रॉम द बुक ऑफ एस चंद ओके नाउ हियर द फर्स्ट वन द फर्स्ट वन इज अ चैप्टर फ्रॉम प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस सो हियर द फर्स्ट वन इज नंबर वन अ पर्सन परचेज अ चेयर फॉर रुपीज सेवन हंड्रेड and repairing price equal to 170 and also uh, rupees 30 is the cartridge price so that means first you have to add this three number okay you have to add these three costs to get the total cost of that chair so here 700 170 and 30 it becomes 900 now the next question the next portion is if he sold the chair at rupees 1080 that means the selling price or sp equal to rupees 1080 so now you have to find out what is the percentage of profit okay so first you have to learn what is the formula of the percentage of profit here the formula is sp that means selling price minus cp that means cost price divided by cp into 100 okay now always remember that the, the percentage of profit or the percentage of loss always calculated on the number of cp okay that means on the value of cp we cannot find out the profit or loss uh with depend which is depend on the sp okay to depend on sp we cannot find out the profit or loss that means each and every problem to find out percentage of profit or percentage of loss you have to first find out the cp of that material so here just put down the value of sp and cp so 1080 minus 900 by 900 into 100 so finally we will get 20% so 20% is the profit for this sum number 1 now sum number 2 in sum number 2 the uh, ramesh bought 10 cycle for rupees 500 each that means uh, 10 price of 10 cycle equal to 500 into 10 that equal to 5000 and the repairing cost equal to 20, uh, 2000 so the total cost of 10 cycle That equal to five thousand plus two thousand. It equal to seven thousand. Now next, he sold five of them at rupees seven fifty each, and the remaining, the remaining that means again five of them as they are total ten cycle. So five plus five ten. So first five circle he sold uh, five seven fifty each. That means seven fifty into five three seven five zero. Now next five cycles uh, were five fifty each. So five fifty into five that becomes two seven five zero. so uh, the total sp that means the total selling price equal to 6500 so here total cost equal to 7000 and a total sp equal to 6500 that means the cp is greater than sp so here in this problem it will be uh, the loss okay if cp is greater than sp then it will be loss so percentage of loss the formula will be slight change Okay, in the previous the percentage of profit the formula will be SP minus CP. Now for the percentage of loss the formula will be CP minus SP. Okay, the denominator is always same. It always CP into hundred. So seven thousand minus six five double zero by seven thousand into hundred that equal to fifty by seven. Okay, now fifty by seven that means seven uh, seven whole one by seven percent. Now the next one. Now sum number three. In sum number three, by selling an article of rupees nine sixty, a man incurs a loss of four percent. That means selling price equal to nine sixty and percentage of loss equal to four percent. Now we have to find out the cost price. Okay. Now we know the uh, per, uh, formula of the percentage of loss. The formula of percentage of loss is CP minus SP by CP into hundred. That equal to percentage of loss. Now according to the problem. Here CP minus SP by CP into hundred that equal to four as the percentage of loss equal to four it's given. So now put down the value of SP also SP nine sixty so just write down here nine sixty into now here four multi hundred multiply so four by hundred. So that means uh, it's one by twenty five. Now again cross multiply. So if you cross multiply then twenty five into CP twenty five CP nine sixty into twenty five and here one into CP that is CP. Now here twenty five CP minus CP that equal to twenty four CP, and nine sixty into twenty five will be goes in the right hand side. So here CP equal to finally nine sixty into twenty five by divided by twenty four, and that equal to rupees thousand. So rupees thousand is the CP of this problem. Now the next one sum number four. In sum number four, uh, the selling price of twenty articles 
is equal to the cost price of 15 articles. So suppose or let the selling price of 20 articles that equal to x. That means it also the cost price of 15 articles. Now then what is the loss percentage? That means you have to find out the percentage of loss. So before you have to find out the percentage of loss, first you have to find out what is the SP of one article and what is the CP of one article. Because to find out or to calculate loss or profit, the articles or that means the quantity of articles will be always same. So here the quantity is 20 and here is 15. So first you have to equal the quantity of that article. So as SP of one article, okay, here SP of 20 article equal to X, then SP of one article equal to X by 20 by unitary method. Next one, here CP of 15 article equal to X, then CP of one article equal to X by 15 by unitary method. Now in these two fraction, here X by 20 and X by 15, as the numerator will be same, then here, x by 15 is the largest fraction okay that means x by 15 greater than x by 20 so as cp greater than x by 20 or that means sp that means here we calculated the percentage of loss so just put down the formula cp minus sp by sp sorry by cp into 100 so here 1520 lcm 60 so here x by 60 by x by 15 into 100 so x by 60 into 15 by x into 100 that equal to 25 percent now the next one next one sum number five in sum number five a hawker gains the selling price of four ball points pin on selling one dozen pins what is the gain percentage that means if let sp of 12 pins that means one dozen pin so sp of 12 pins be rupees x then sp of one pin be x by 12 and SP of 4 pin that equal to X by 12 into 4 and that equal to rupees X by 3. Okay, so that is the SP of 4 pin. And according to the problem, uh, in the problem it says that the profit, the profit will be same to the SP of 4 pins. So here profit equal to rupees X by 3 also. Now cost price, what is the cost price? Cost price equal to SP minus profit. So to find out the cost price, just subtract the profit from the SP. Here, here SP equal to X, profit equal to X by 3. So X minus X by 3, that equal to 2X by 3. So here cost price equal to 2X minus 3 and profit equal to X by 3. Now percentage of profit, that equal to profit by the cost price into 100. So X by 3 by 2X by 3 into 100 and after calculation you will get 50 percent now sum number six in sum number six a man bought pencil at the rate of six of four rupees four and sold them at the rate of four for rupees six that means cp of six pencil are rupees four then cp of one pencil equal to four by six that means two by three then again sp of four pencils are rupees six then sp of one pencil equal to six by four that means three by two so here the CP of one pencil equal to two by three. Here SP of one pencil equal to three by two. Now you have to find out the percentage of profit. So formula is SP minus CP by CP into hundred, and after calculation you will get one twenty five percent.